Search the farthest villages. Find more metal. China will be mine. Welcome back to Villain Review episode 47. Today, we will be looking at Lord Shen from the 2011 film Kung Fu Panda 2. Lord Shen has been suggested by a few different people, so shout out to anyone who's ever recommended him. Subscribe! I make new Villain Reviews every Monday and you don't want to miss a single one. How good is Lord Shen? Let's find out. My parents hated me. Do you understand? So we actually learn a good amount of backstory for Shen because really the first scene in the movie is just dedicated to explaining his origins. Being a prince, Shen watched his parents rule as king and queen and everybody loved them because they invented fireworks and like, come on, who doesn't love fireworks? Shen, however, wanted to use these fireworks as a weapon and everyone was like, yeah, you're kind of crazy, dude. Eventually a fortune teller would go on to say, Mrs. Peacock, Mr. Peacock, yeah, I'm sorry, but your son's kind of a nut job. Yeah, we know. If he keeps trying to kill people with fireworks, he's gonna be visited by three ghosts. What? Oh, sorry, wrong prediction. He is gonna be defeated by a warrior of black and white. Oh shit. You mean like Marty from Madagascar? No, a panda. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, I guess. Shen, however, heard this information and went out to kill an entire village of pandas. Yeah. This is a kid's movie. However, by killing all of the pandas, Shen only sealed his fate, and his father banished him from the city. Very angry and with this wolf army who he just has apparently, Shen vowed vengeance against his parents and he wanted to take over the city and all of China. <laughs> oh, do you actually believe this is the warrior destined to defeat me? I do not. I know he is. So shout out to whoever is writing the characters in this franchise because they just know how to do good villains. Shen has so much character and the best part is that he's unlike any other character in this franchise. Tai Lung is a really good villain and Shen is almost nothing like him. Shen has this elegance to him that makes him seem like royalty all throughout the film. What I like about Shen is how dramatic he is. It's almost like he knows he's in a movie. Shen attacks Poe emotionally and brings this whole new dynamic that makes him feel so much different from Tai Lung. While attacking Poe's emotions is mainly how they use Shen, the dude can still fight. Like he takes down two Kung Fu masters at once. What I like about this though, is that Shen isn't dumb. He knows when to play things smart and use his cannon. I feel like Shen knows he's not the best fighter in the world, and that's why he values these cannons so much. Some might call this being a coward, but I just think it's being smart. Face it, Shen, you're outnumbered. It appears I am. Give up now, and we might just- You can't do that. We need to fight using Kung Fu. Shen is played to perfection by the legendary Gary Oldman, and it is one of the best performances in this trilogy. His motive might be a little basic, but I buy the reasons a little more with Shen. Like, yeah, it could have been done better, but I kind of buy what Shen wants to do. I feel like part of the motive is that Shen is just way too deep at this point. Like, he can't give up. He's left his parents, he sacrificed everything to get to where he's at, and if he gives up now, then it's all been for nothing. He acts a lot out of fear and just doesn't want Poe to defeat him and that totally makes sense. It's a very human thing to feel and it kind of makes you empathize with him a little more. I really like when he talks about how much his parents hated him because you see that in his mind, his parents hated him. In his mind, the world's out to get him, the world's against him, when in reality, he's kind of just going about things wrong and I for one really like that. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Now we've got the pleasantries out of the way, please leave my house. I really like a lot of the scenes Shen is in. There's no real scenes I have a problem with and they're all pretty good. However, his best scene is when he returns home and takes back the city. Yeah, but it's your parting gift, in that it will part you. Part of you here, part of you there, and part of you way over there. I love this scene because one, we get to see Shen fight and we see that this dude is not messing around. It's also a great example of Shen being smart with the cannon, like I said, and it's just good to see Shen succeeding in what he's doing. 
He's got so much character, and I love how he talks to the masters, and it's just overall a really good scene. Gary Oldman, guy's a legend. The only thing that matters is what you choose to be now. You're right. Then I choose. This! Shen's motive and origin is a little bit lacking for me, but at the end of the day, it definitely could have been a lot worse. Luckily, he has a ton of character, and pretty much every scene he's in is really great. This is really hard for me, and I'm sitting somewhere between an 8 and a 9, but, you know, looking back at the past villains I've done and comparing him to them, I think I am going to give Shen a 9. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what you think of Shen below. Like the video, tell your friends, and come back every week for a new villain review. See you next time.